Howdy guys, today I want to talk about how deposits work when buying and selling real estate and I want to clear up some misconceptions I'm noticing out there in the marketplace. So the first thing is when do you pay your deposit? When you're buying a property at auction you need to be prepared to pay your deposit pretty much straight away. Now the standard deposit at an auction is 10% but at the time of registering for the auction you can request to pay a smaller deposit if you're successful and that may be 5% or $20,000 but the agent will need to confirm with you that that variation's been agreed on before you start bidding. If you're successful, the expectation is that you'll make a payment of your deposit either immediately or under agreement the next business day. When you're buying a property through any other method, such as a negotiated sale, then you're not meant to pay your deposit until after the expiration of a cooling off period. Now your cooling off period does not begin until you've received a fully executed copy of the contract and all of the searches pertaining to the property known in South Australia as the Form 1. When you are served these documents, your cooling off will begin midnight of that day and will go for two clear business days, so weekends and public holidays don't count. So for example, if I serve a purchaser into cooling off on Monday, their cooling off will technically begin midnight Monday evening and expire midnight Wednesday night. Only after your cooling off period are you meant to pay your deposit. So in that instance, you'd pay your deposit Thursday morning. Now one of the misconceptions which keeps coming up is how much is appropriate to offer as your deposit. Traditionally, we've considered a 10% deposit acceptable. So if you're buying a property for 500,000, the deposit would be 50,000. But we've seen a reduction in the average deposit being offered on property. It's now very common to see people offer a 5% deposit or even sometimes 20 or $30,000. But what we've noticed, even in the last few weeks, is that people are negotiating to buy a property and then when it comes time to discuss the deposit, they're offering ridiculously low deposits like $1,000 or $2,000. A lot of people are telling us that they're receiving this advice from mortgage brokers or friends or things like this, but I need to tell you very clearly now that a one or two thousand dollar deposit is an absolutely ridiculously low deposit to try and secure a property. Sellers have been conditioned to expect a five or ten percent deposit, and while they might not always require that, they would at least expect to see ten or twenty thousand dollars. So the idea of a one or two thousand dollar deposit is unrealistic and I want to get that message out very clearly. So I hope that this information about deposits has been helpful. When to pay it and how much to pay. And if you've got any further questions, reach out to me or one of my team. All the best.